Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Just Eyes Real TV. I hope y'all are all having a well day today. So I wanted to get on here to talk about Miss Monique Samuels, who has confirmed the Jasmine brand. This is strictly reported out the Jasmine brand on her exclusive on an exclusive story on Monique Samuel departure from Love and Marriage DC. And um, with her actually explaining why she's not returning to the show. So if you all know where um Monique Samuel, Monique and Chris Samuels, okay, they have been in the headlines over the past few weeks, especially um with their separation actually being leaked, and then Monique coming back with her husband and saying that these allegations are not true. Now we was all expecting to see this story play out on the I'm about to say the real housewives of Potomac. <laughs> on um love and marriage huntsville dc love and marriage dc lord jesus get together josiah but it seemed like that she's not actually coming back now um the jasmine brand actually reported yesterday that um we could be seeing a little bit less of her on t uh, on tv and that she was not filming anything for season two well, looks like this morning it was actually confirmed by Monique Samuels herself that she will not be coming back to um, the show. Okay, and I'll go ahead and get into my commentary soon, but I actually want to go ahead and play this audio for you guys. So let me go ahead and share my screen here. Yeah, so Chris and I were actually planning to be a part of the season. And, you know, we actually wanted to show how we were navigating our marriage issues. And because we know a lot of people can relate to that. Um, we did our initial production meeting, had a house together, kids, hair, laid, glam, glam on standby, all of that. But the main reason we, we didn't start filming was because of contract issues. So God works in mysterious ways because how convenient was it that this whole divorce narrative was put out there. But the fact that Chris and I, even to this day, um, we never even started filming and nobody knew that wasn't leaked. You know what I'm saying? Right. It just makes me wonder who leaked that narrative. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, the only reason that there was even speculation, like you said, is because they saw this trailer and they were like, wait, where y'all at? So yes, it is true. Chris and I will not be returning. Okay. Um, at this point, I think we're, we're done with reality TV. Honestly, I'm just at a place in my life where I will never again, allow myself to be devalued. The contract has to make sense for me. Um, and you know, when I'm filming, I'm giving my all. So if you want all of me, you got to make sure that paperwork is straight. Absolutely. So, you know, no hard feelings. Business is business. And I don't care what anybody has to say about it. But as always, the show will go on. So shout out to the Tylers and the Silvers. They're going to hold it down. So make sure y'all watch Love and Marriage DC this January. Continue to support them. They are DMV. They are local. They are doing their thing. I love them. But yes, Chris and I, the Samuels, we will not be back. Wow. So no more reality TV. No, I think I'm done. I think I'm good. You know, we, you know, it, it takes a lot of bravery to be able to put yourself back out there um, after you've done it before. Um, but then you also have to be smart about it and just know when it's like, you know what, maybe this isn't for us anymore. I'm in a different space in life. And, you know, like I said, business is business. That, that paperwork got to be straight. And it was crooked. So I said, I'm out. I know mean, that's right. <laughs> well, if you want to keep up with my night with Monique, you just gotta turn them radios up now. Listen. So and catch the real Monique here. Right. Always. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I love it. And I love y'all. Yeah. Yeah, Good morning, the, show. I love y'all. Yeah, the real petty Monique. And another thing too. <laughs> yeah, and the troll Todd B. <laughs> That's who he is. <laughs> but another thing, too, I think is good, too, is that you all have been hanging out, like you and some of the cast members. So it's all good. If people want to you know, have any speculation about how y'all are doing, it, no, all you got to do is follow the Instagram. Y'all are hanging out, partying with each other. Y'all just celebrated Still. Sasha's birthday. So yep. it's all good. Yeah. And I actually saw Carlos King at Portia's wedding at the Nigerian mm -hmm. ceremony. And I was able to see him. And me and him have talked. And, you know, it is what it is. So there's no hard feelings. And I have nothing negative to say about anybody. It's just it is what it is, you know? All right. Well, thank you for the tea. Right. There you have it. <laughs> there you. Okay, guys. Let me get back on screen here and put this layover. So you guys have just seen Monique interview with the radio show and her expressing her situation regarding not coming or coming back to um, Love and Marriage DC. And this is just my opinion on a whole situation. Um, I feel like that I have watched the show. I never really talk about it. But I don't really, I mean, I'm sorry, but Monique and her husband didn't really give anything. Like, if anything, it was giving them going back and forth, you know, always disagreeing, and it's giving more toxic. So when the news or speculation said anything about them getting having to split, the audience and the fans believed it because we've seen how the relationship played out on the show. 
we've seen how toxic the relationship was, the back and forths and all of that. And I just honestly feel like that with this beautiful couple, um, they don't need to be on reality TV. But Monique, I have to hold you accountable as well because this is your second time leaving a reality TV show. And I know she said that it's due to contractual reasons, but are you, is it because of, you know, you just, money, I think it's, I think it's multiple things, right? I think that is money. Um, let's be honest, like on Carlos King, you know, he's on his way up, but love and marriage is not paying as much as they um, are with Real Housewives of Potomac. Let's keep that real. So it could be a small part of it where she's not getting enough money to display her life on television. And I also feel like that she did not like the way how she was portrayed on reality TV. I felt like that um, the way how her and her husband portrayed, they was not the breakout stars. We was not watching for Monique and her husband. And I felt like that she kind of wanted to be, you know, in the center, forefront, and the star of the show. And um, unfortunately, it just didn't really work out like that for her. So too bad, so sad. I honestly, um, and there's another thing that I feel as well with Carlos King. I feel like that with her relationship with Carlos King has kind of fell off a little bit because if Monique, if you didn't put out the rumor, who else did? Is it Carlos King? Did he put out the rumor? Did the producers of the show put out that rumor that you guys split? So I think that there's kind of some rift between her and Carlos because if you notice towards the end of the interview, she said how cool she is with everybody, you know, and she's still cool with her castmates. And she said that she saw Carlos at um, Portia's wedding, which I think I'm going to go live about later today. But honestly, I just feel like that the whole situation between them, they kind of fell off. I'm not going to lie. I think they're keeping it cute for the public, but they probably fell out between something because Carlos King is messy as hell, okay? We've seen the whole situation with Candy talking, and then he also fell out with Mona Scott. So um, maybe he did have a part to do with this situation. But am I surprised that Monique and her husband are leaving? No. You know, this show was low-key centered around them and supposed to be the breakout star, but it seems like the other couples in winter were the one who actually brought more to the table than they did. So, um, girl, Monique does not need to be on TV. Okay, just just focus on your marriage, rebuilding your marriage, or whatever y'all got going on behind the scenes. Stay off on reality TV um, until you're ready to actually get on there. And I would actually like to see Monique return to Potomac, too. So, now a lot of people are saying that maybe she will return to Potomac. I don't know. But, um, guys, let me know your thoughts and situations on this um, Monique leaving or... You know, are you happy that she's gone or do you think that she fit the show? Let me know your thoughts and comments below, okay? And I am out. Bye. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josiah as well, TV. Now, if you like this video, make sure you click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you can be notified when I post more videos. Bye-bye.